Today we find out which is better, the new Yu-Gi-Oh set or the new Pokemon set. What's up guys, we're back with another epic versus battle where we have the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Amazing Defenders. We opened some up yesterday, looked kind of unamazing, but then we also have the newest Pokemon set, which is coming out the same week as Amazing Defenders. So I figured we have two brand new TCG products. We might as well pit them against each other. This one comes in at around $60 retail versus this Elite Trainer Box, which is around $50 retail. So it's a little bit of a money advantage when it comes to the price of the Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I guess you could say it's an advantage for the Pokemon because they're cheaper, but in terms of the value pulled, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh is going to have a $10 advantage. So if Pokemon, you know, wins or keeps it within 10, they're going to win. Otherwise, Yu-Gi-Oh wins. The giveaway for this video is you win everything we pull in this video make sure to like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know below if you guys think Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon will win and which do you like better I think I know which one's gonna win that one all right let's get into this I'm gonna open these up show you guys what's inside and we'll get into it all right inside Yu-Gi-Oh of course is just the regular old 24 packs just a booster box nothing too crazy there the Pokemon has 10 packs of Crown Zenith which is the new set they also have one promo which is the Lucario V-Star which looks pretty amazing that's the only card inside I actually opened this up for a separate video that I started recording then my camera stopped so we've had to restart this entire video I have different products so we're not going to open that one up this time here's what it looks like if you open it up because there's my other one they also come with some dividers I mentioned in my other video that I had started recording that I really love this part of the product you just get like a lot of storage and I personally am obsessed with storage because I have so many cards so it's very helpful to keep cards organized then you get a bunch of energy for the game a bunch of accessories for the game like dice and you know markers and stuff like that and then you get some lucario sleeves so between the like the sleeves and then like the the storage and like the energy i mean this is probably like ten dollars worth of value added to pokemon right off the bat so they're at ten dollars already all right let's get into this when i started the last one i opened three packs of amazing defenders i mentioned because there's 24 packs here and 10 in the crown zenith uh, we're going to open two to three packs of the new Yu-Gi-Oh before we get into the Pokemon or like each time because there's a lot more packs for Yu-Gi-Oh. So we're going to do it that way. I had only opened four packs on the first recording. We did pull an Ultra Rare out of here, but it wasn't anything insane. So glad that it at least stopped early so I didn't have to do it. Oh, there's another Ultra Rare. It's kind of the same way. I think it was the second pack again. I even mixed up both of them. So it's not like it's like mapped that way. I just literally uh, mixed it to the right spot, I guess. So that's two packs so far. Let's do three here before we go to Amazing Defenders. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see which will win, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. A sold, a very solid Yu-Gi-Oh card there. And I was also thinking that normally because this is an early set, you know, the prices are all way off. So it would be an advantage for, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh being early, but so was the Crown Zenith. They're both new. So they both have an equal advantage or even footing, I should say, on pulling that new stuff because they're both, you know, not available for everybody. So the prices are going to be off on both of them. So it's, it's completely fair ground at this point. we got a Psychic Energy. Let's see what we can get. Lunatone, Soul Rock. Those kind of go together. we got the Rare Candy, Yanma, Pontiard, Cricketot, Chitot, Galarian Mr. Mime, Rescue Carrier, and uh, we have a Double. Okay, just a Sheep. Nothing too crazy there. We got some Sheeps in the chat. All right, let's go back to Yu-Gi-Oh. have been opening a lot of other TCGs like Pokemon and some random stuff like you know, we, have, we got a Harry Potter booster box. We've had a lot of fun with that stuff. So if you guys want to see that, go check out my Twitch channel. Oh, we might have got another Ultra. Oh, Rescue Ace Turbulence. So we are starting off hot with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Another Ultra Rare versus the Pokemon, which has pulled nothing. The sad part is I think Pokemon's probably still winning just from their accessories, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we'll have to see what the prices turn out to be. We got Rescue Ace, Preparation of Rights. We got a Rescue Ace Impulse with his axe. Pretty cool. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, amazing defenders, let's go. Let's see what we can do. All right, we're gonna do two from the back because that means it won't spoil it no matter what it is. Sacred Scroll, Contain, Rescue Ace Lifter, and Infernal Knight Raynaught. I think this is gonna be one of the better ones uh, in terms of the super rares. Okay, amazing defenders, can you make a run? Uh, the $60 retail price of this set, uh, it's, you know, it's probably not gonna hold up around there because most of the time the collector rare sets do go down over time. Uh, did we get anything? No, Rescue Ace Monitor. So it feels like this $60 is probably going to be a little bit high. But if you guys do end up wanting to buy some, check out Sassiato. Use my code Amazing Defenders. We don't have any codes for Pokemon at the moment. But if you guys are interested in me trying to get some codes for uh, from Sassiato for Pokemon, make sure to let me know in the comments and we can make that happen. And uh, we'll, we'll have that on some other videos. We got a Metal, we got Laron, Friend of the Sinnoh, Gloom, Corefish, Energy Search, we got Scyther, Riolu, Young Goose, Oddish, 
And a Belossum. Okay, pretty cool, Belossum. And also, if you do want to buy uh, Pokemon anyway from Sassy, he does have it available. I just don't have a code for it right now. And you can use it through my affiliate link and it would still support. But if you do want a code there, uh, I will talk to Sassy and we can make that happen. You guys can grab some Pokemon if you want that. Because I know a lot of people, if I posted a Pokemon only video, people would not be happy. Because like, most people are here for Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So that's why I like to mix it in with the Yu-Gi-Oh and have fun with that. But then also, there are a lot of people that watch the Yu-Gi-Oh that also like the Pokemon. So there's an Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. So even if we're not posting a lot of videos about Pokemon on this channel specifically, we could definitely have a code that would you know benefit a lot of you guys who like opening Pokemon, even if you don't want to watch it or whatever. Okay, and you get 5% off, which is cool. The great uh, Mikanko, we've got the region, we've got the sword, and we've got the hidden armory. So we really need a collector rare, I think, to, to have a chance for Yu-Gi-Oh! And you guys know, it can be tough to pull those higher rarity cards. So we'll see what we can do. Can Crown Zenith pull something? Because so far, Crown Zenith hasn't pulled anything either. One, two, three, four, let's go. Let's see, we got a water. These are like really cold. Matang, I don't know why. Energy Switch, Croc Rock. Oh, Rex and Special on the Pokemon. We got Starly, Switch. Execute, love disc, got the Amolga, but barrel. Okay, that is like not a normal reverse. That is whatever you call these. The uh, you know, full arts, I guess. Not really full arts, but kind of full arty. You know what I mean? So uh that's that's something. It could be money, I don't know. Probably not, because it's Babero. I mean, but honestly, people like the like the little goofy Pokemon, so maybe it is good. Who knows? The Babero, not bad, we'll take it. It is the first thing we've kind of pulled, so pretty decent. I'm not mad about it. Let's see what Yu-Gi-Oh can do. Of course, I'm rooting for Yu-Gi-Oh to win, but Pokemon's going to put up a fight, as always. Arm Protector Dragon. There's our uh, Typhlosion, speaking of Pokemon. Fire Engine, the Gizmeka Naganaki, and Makanko Promise. I got to remember not to just go back and forth, because there's, like, so many more Yu-Gi-Oh packs. It's also, like, funny how much bigger the Pokemon cards are than Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And Yu-Gi-Oh cards compared to Magic cards, too. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh just has the smallest cards compared to everyone else. Uh, we got the Rescue HHQ. We got the Beauty the rivalry, and the Saravus, the ancient and descended. Very cool and very epic. I'm not really keeping track. I'm just kind of guessing when I'm supposed to open these. So hopefully it ends up being fairly, you know, decent or whatever. All right, Adish, right off the bat. One, two, three, four. Let's pull something big. We got water. We got Matang. Shaman. Friends in the Hui. I don't know. Oddish. We got the seal. The potion. Aaron, what's up, AA Ron? We got Corfish, even though he only has one A. Nessa, is that signed? It looks like a signature. What is that? Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know what that is, because I have no idea. Is this like a s inserted sign card or something? I don't know. Like, it's probably like if it is a sign card when they printed, like, a, like they signed it once and printed it, so it's not crazy. But you may play only one support. I don't know. It looks cool though. I mean, it definitely looks like a signature. I don't know. And then a uh, gum So I'm gonna have to pull this one aside. I don't know what the deal with this is. It's just a reverse, so it's probably not too crazy because I feel like a sign card would be like a high rarity card, but I don't know about it. So maybe I'll ask like Rev or something after this. All right, let's go. Next pack. We have the uh, Pearly Yeep and Pearl Happiness. Pearly Happy, Stray Pearly Street. We got one for one, super rare. We got XDs Reborn and Pearly Delicious, Delicious Memory, not Delicious. All right, Pearly, let's go. So far, neither side has really asserted their dominance. So nothing too crazy. I honestly don't, okay, there's a Ruxin special. We got the uh, Imperly Happiness. I don't even know like either of these sets what are gonna be like actual money. Like I do wanna pull the card trooper for Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know if like it's actually gonna be worth anything. Like I guess Edison will be like good for it or whatever, but like, is that actually gonna make it worth a lot or is it just gonna be like, you know, 20, 30 bucks in terms of collector rare value? We got the uh, the Mirror Mekanko. I Is it Mekanko? Is that how you say it? I think these are pretty cool looking. They got the, they got the waifu uh, plus to them. So I'm sure that'll always help. You know, that always helps with the early Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Pokemon, I don't know what the big card in here. I know this set's a little bit hyped, so it's gotta have something cool in it. Haven't really looked at the set list personally. I just wanted to kind of open it and see what happens. Uh, we know shiny cards is what we want. Metal, electric with the digging duo. We got giraffe rig, potion, Mr. Mime, the Galarian version. We got sunken, coughing, office, offish, <laughs> on top of Lele, oddish, not offish, and and enamorous. So onish and offish would be that'd be a, a clutch duo right there. <laughs> okay, yeah, nobody's pulling anything crazy. We're still looking. So hopefully, I mean, right now the uh, crown zenith just having the uh, the ten less dollar cost is really helping. Plus all the guaranteed accessories. So that's giving them a huge advantage over the Yu-Gi-Oh right now since Yu-Gi-Oh has pulled a couple of ultras. I don't really know what kind of value they're gonna be at, but 
I don't think it's going to be too crazy. Arm Protector Dragon, Stray Pearly, Rescue Ace Impulse, and The Promise with the Informable Knight Roland. Pretty solid. I feel like I need to pick it up on the Pokemon. I think I've opened a few too many Yu-Gi-Oh. Because doing three every time means we're going to be done a little earlier. Pearl Yeep, we get the Contain, Map. Oh, oh, did we get something? Ah, oh, my friend Pearly, that is an ultra rare. Okay, it's not a collector, so, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it'll be okay, but we really want the collector rare to win. All right, Crown Zenith, it's your time to really assert your dominance if you're going to pull something. Might as well be right now, right? We have the Starly. Pretty cool. We got codes. Use those guys. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Fighting Energy, Friend and Sinnoh, Gloom, Crushing Hammer, Starly, Switch, Execute, Amolga, Love Disc, Amoga again, and a Rayquaza V. Okay, so V in terms of Pokemon, if you're not familiar, is usually like the lower end of like the ultra rare. So it's similar to like maybe like an ultra rare in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. So it's decent. It's not like insane because it'd be like V star, full art, craziness. I mean, this is a full art, but uh, this is probably pretty decent because it is Rayquaza and that's like a fan favorite. So that's our best pull for sure for the Pokemon. We'll take that. Uh, I think we got to slow down. I think we opened too many Yu-Gi-Oh packs at the beginning. So I'm going to do like uh, maybe a couple Yu-Gi-Oh packs um, instead of three. We got the Great Makonko and we're still looking for a Collector Rare one for one. That's a big super rare. A Collector Rare would be really helpful here. I'm just going to go do one more over here to make sure we don't get too far ahead. Energy Surge. That was a nice Rayquaza V pull. Let's see if we can, uh, one, two, three, four, match it. We have energy from Psychic, Carnivine, Rescue Carrier, Laron, Energy Search, Scytha, Riolu, Youngus. We got, oh no, Ruxin Special right to the Magnezone, but this card looks awesome. Look at him. He's like in a little factory. He's like, all right, we're going to keep fixing this stuff. All right, and there we have a Pangoro. That's just a regular, so it's a non hollow rare. You can tell by that star down there, but still. Hey, another decent pull. Okay, not bad. I think Pokemon is kind of dominating right now, which is unfortunate because, you know, we are a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. We want Yu-Gi-Oh to win. I mean, I know I do love Pokemon, but Yu-Gi-Oh is my first love, okay? We have, <laughs> we have uh, the Plump uh, Machine Duplicate. I actually don't know if that's true. It might actually, Pokemon might actually be my first love in terms of the card games. Well, in terms of the franchise, because I probably played the, the Pokemon games before I had the, the, the cards. Arm Protector Dragon. We have the Fire Attacker, the Rescue Ace Fire Engine. That's a super rare and a purification dance all right so now we have only oh three of each left so i guess we just go one one to one i opened way too many Yu-Gi-Oh at the beginning let's see so that means Yu-Gi-Oh is at a severe disadvantage right now because they opened all those packs haven't really gotten anything i mean we've gotten three foils like probably not that amazing but i honestly don't know the price so we got fire energy the pin church and we've got the great ball Bay sharp salad it the energy search grub 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 and we got the scrub that's a cool artwork it's just a non hollow but it looks hollow Wooloo, Dabool, and Tangrowth. All right, the uh, the Tangela gets even uglier somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but it happens. All right, this is what we're down to. Five packs total. Let's go Amazing Defenders. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be a Collector Rare Card Trooper to pull it out? Then you guys can win it, so make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Preparation of Rights. we got Ceremony, Experly Noir, Duplication, and Sorvalas. Crown Zenith time. Let's go. Let's pull it. What shall we do? Helioptile, however you say that Pokemon. I don't know. One, two, three, four. It's kind of new. I'm not quite into the newer stuff as much. Or I don't know it as well. Gravelers, we got the Pokemon Catcher. We got the Slazzle. Helioptile, we've got the Pancham. Switch. Snorunt. Larvesta. Oh, an Entei V! Look at that card! Okay, so this is in the reverse slot, so... This is like, a, sometimes they have like two separate, they have like Trainer Gallery, and then they have like the regular price guide, so I'll have to look into that. Oh, and a Kyogre Hollow. Woo! That is a really solid pack. Yeah, this is reminding me of when we used to do those Battles versus Rev live on stream, and he would just pull out these crazy Pokemon packs and pull like three different foils, and we'd have like, you know, a regular rare out of our LOB pack, and then we'd just be like, yeah, we lost. That's a pretty awesome pack. That Entei looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of that card. That is pretty sick. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what's cool. Another cool thing about Pokemon is they have like in the uh, they have like both a reverse hollow slot and a regular slot, so you can get like multiple good pulls. That was a Ruxin special per pack which is pretty, always pretty exciting. That's why I like the Dark Magician so much out of the Battles of Chaos is like there's two different places you could get like an amazing card. So that's another thing I like about opening the Pokemon packs. This is a couple of spots to do that. Final Pokemon pack of this video. If you do want to see more TCGs, maybe more Pokemon in general, let me know in the comments. We can potentially make more videos of that. 
Uh, we have a Grass Energy. We have a Luxio. We have an Ultra Ball. Electric. Yanma. Ponyard. Cricketot. Mr. Mime from Galeria. We've got the Sunkern, the Zacian, and a Zero Aura V Max to finish it off. And that seems like a good card. I don't actually know if it's good, but it's a V Max. That's our first V Max of, of the uh, of the video. That's looking pretty fire. Okay, I feel like Pokemon may have just run away with this Zero Aura V Max. Don't forget, that's in the giveaway. Yeah, I'm a little upset now that I gave these cards away. I want these cards. <laughs> it's all right. We'll open more. We'll open more. That's okay. Uh, okay, you guys can win it. Let's go. We have, come on, Yu-Gi-Oh. You've got one final chance. This is your destiny to beat Pokemon. Preparation of rights. You got to believe this is where we'll know if we pulled something or not. Is it a collector rare? No, it's not. Okay. Heart of the Cards was not on our side this time, Yu-Gi-Oh fans, but that's okay. This was a fun battle. Here's how it turned out. Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh. Who won? I'm guessing Pokemon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.